stopping by. I just wanted to say a great big thank you for over 500 subscribers. I could not believe my eyes. I'm thankful every day for this small but mighty community. If you're new here, my name is Alexandra and I make videos all about DIYs, thrifting, and home decor content. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification button below so you don't miss the next video. Restoration hardware hurts my heart a little bit. It is so beautiful and I love all of the minimalist, clean lines and textured pieces, but I really don't like the hefty price tag. So today I will be showing you how I use the baking soda and paint technique to create some easy textured canvas art pieces that are budget friendly and are seriously really good RH dupes. All you'll need for your canvas art is a canvas, of course, which I got from the dollar store, some paint brushes or sponge brushes, some paints of your choice. I chose white and the sandy color, some baking soda, and a little jar to mix the concoction together. I've seen textured canvas art done with spackling or joint compound, but I haven't really seen it done with baking soda, so I thought, why not try it? I have to say it worked really well and you're more likely to have baking soda in your household than those other two supplies. I wanted my paste to be extra thick so I started off with about a quarter cup of baking soda, mixed both of my paints in and then added a few extra sprinklings of baking soda until I got the thickness I liked. There's no perfect ratio, it really depends on how much you want your paste to have that 3D effect if you will. Then I basically took my paintbrush and started dabbing the mixture onto the canvas, adding more sand colored paint and more white paint in certain sections, but without really following a specific pattern. My aim was just to cover the entire canvas. Paintbrush does produce a nice texture on its own, but you can always use different household objects to adapt the texture of the canvas. So I decided to use a fork to create some curved and horizontal lines along the canvas, and I really did like the effect. Feel free to experiment with what you use. You can probably use just about anything. For my second piece of art, I created a similar concoction as the first piece of art, but I decided to paint the canvas all white afterwards and progressively dab more of that sandy color in certain spots to separate the colors a bit more. This produced a cloudy, almost mock tie-dye effect that I thought was really cool. If you do stick to a particular color palette, you can make two or three of these canvases and put them together without them being exactly the same. I decided ultimately to separate them, but you do have that option. many layers of paint and baking soda as you want with every layer adding even more texture and depth to the painting. I opted for about two layers for both my paintings which already produced plenty of texture. For good measure, I sprayed each canvas with some Mod Podge sealer to prevent bits of the mix from cracking or falling off later on, so I highly encourage you to do so as well if you have some, although it's not completely necessary.
below if you decide to create some of these art pieces. I would love to know about it. If you haven't seen my last restoration hardware dupe video, please be sure to check that out. I will leave it in the description box below. If you also like the video, please hit the like button. It really supports my channel and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye for now. Thank you.